Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I am back with my weekly budget check-in. First things first, I'm going to announce the winner of last week's giveaway, which is Dakota. Her username is Dakota Mother of Boys. I will be linking that in the description box down below and I also replied to her comment on the last video. So just make sure if you're watching this Dakota that you message me on Instagram. I will have my username linked in the description box below and I'll put it up on the screen here. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the giveaway for this week. I'm going to be giving away this set of budgeting stickers. And if you guys are new here, I do have an Etsy shop and I will have that linked in my description box. I just released my new sticker collection for October and November. And this set is actually not on my shop, so it's an exclusive, but I wanted to give this set away. I think it's really cute. This is the set I was using this month. So if you guys are interested in winning this set, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the description box below and that will qualify you to win the giveaway and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So before we start the video, I wanted to show you guys my new stickers. If you watched my October setup video, I did already show these stickers, but I just wanted to show you guys them here in case you didn't see that video. These are all the washi strips for the October and November designs. And then I will show you guys the thin washi. So that was the thick washi. And then this is the thin washi that I have picked. I'm loving these colors for this month. And then I also have the budget kits here. So they do come in this color and they have the October budget sheet, the weekly check-in, sinking funds, and the transaction log. And they come in this pink peach color. And then they also come in this light blue color, which I'm a huge fan of. And they have all the same pieces. And you can get these same sets in November. All I have to change is just for the October to say November. The November ones are not listed right now, but they will be listed, I'm hoping, by tomorrow or the day that you're watching this video. But if they aren't yet listed and you're looking to buy the November kits, just message me on Etsy. And I already have them made. I just don't have them up and listed on my shop. So I will be able to get you those. And then I also have just some fun little stickers to go along with some little extras. I have these expense trackers, these no spend stickers, some bill do stickers in different colors. And then I have the budget header sheet, the payday scripts, and then I also have the budget time script. This is a sheet that I haven't yet cut up, but I have this budget time script and I have some colorful expense trackers and they come in eight colors, but I don't have the red and yellow one here. Um, I'm not sure where those ones disappeared to. So these are the stickers that I have so far in my shop and I'm so excited to keep designing more and adding more. But right now I have these, which I think is a good amount to start off with. And what I'm doing is for the first five buyers of my stickers, I am giving them one sheet in each color. I have already had the first two, and now I still have three left. So I have gray, blue, and this pink color. These ones were actually um, mistake ones, but they're perfectly functional. They just didn't print out with this um, dollar sign, line, and little checkbox. So I have these to give away and I'll be giving them away until they're gone. So if you order on my shop now, you can qualify to get three free sheets of stickers. And I'm also throwing in fun little samples with each package. I'm so excited about adding stickers to my shop. I've been wanting to do it for a while and I, fi I finally did. So I'm really happy about that. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on how you're liking my stickers. And if you have any suggestions of stickers that you'd like to see in my shop, make sure and leave it in the comment down below when you enter to win the giveaway. But now, without further ado, let's jump into the budget October spread so you guys can just get a quick little sneak peek of how I set up my budget. Make sure and watch the video. I will link it here. But also, I just wanted to show you quick of how I used my stickers. So on this page, I have my transaction log, my sinking funds, my October budget, and my weekly check-in. And I do use two pages for my weekly check-in, so I also have this page on the back. I just kind of continued it. And we are going to start off with the 19th. I actually need to move my little budget check-in sticker because I made a purchase on the 19th after I finished filming. 
and I need to add that. It was for personal, so I'm going to be using my yellow sticker here. And it was a sweatshirt for $20. My sister ended up coming over and she brought a sweatshirt that didn't fit her and it ended up fitting me. So I bought it from her and I used money out of my personal. So I'm just gonna write um, clothing. And then I will know what that's for. And then also my next purchase was on the 22nd and it was for baby supplies for $22. And baby is red. So I'm gonna write that here, and it was for some new sippy cups from Amazon. So I spent $22. I got her a couple different kinds, and then I also got some little snack cups. So I need to put the sticker down. Whoops, guess we don't really need to cover that because this is my only purchase. And then my next thing, I didn't mean to put that there. That was on the 23rd that I made that purchase. Okay. On the 22nd, I guess I skipped right over this. I got gas for $29, which gas is this dark blue color. So I'm going to write that down. And that was for me, $29. And I also got groceries. And groceries is green, or no, groceries is blue. And that was for $125. And I got toiletries for $15. And toiletries will be other because we don't have a specific color for toiletries, so we'll use this pink one here. And Drew bought some body wash and we got some soap. So that was very exciting. And then the last thing is for Bryn's birthday, which I'm going to be using a red sticker for. So I'll use this one. And that was for $15. And that is going to be on the 24th. Today is the 26th, so I had quite a few no spends. So now let's mark those. And today I'm going to be using my new no spend stickers. So I'm going to just put them down 20th, 21st, and the 25th. I'm not going to put one down on today because who knows, I could still buy something today but I put three of them down and then after we're done with our check-in, I will come back and I will check off all of these after I record them. So now we're gonna go to the transaction log and really quick, I'm just going to write down any of the purchases for my sinking funds, which I did have toiletries on the 22nd and that was for $15 toiletries and then for the description, I'm just going to write down um, soap and body wash. <laughs> and then for baby supplies, that's not a sinking fund. Bryn's birthday would be the last one. So it's the 24th and it was $15. Bryn's birthday. And it was for her um, gray dress. So that was another birthday outfit I bought for her pictures. I'm kind of going a little bit crazy on that, but we won't talk about that. Um, this I don't fill in until after when I do my next stuffing video, I will fill this in. So that's going to stay blank for now. And now we're going to be on to the weekly check-in spread. I'm just going to write down my categories with my purple pen and then we will start going through my cash envelopes. Okay. 
So now I'm going to start with my expenses and the first category that we'll check in with is going to be groceries. And let's see how much I spent in groceries. I have that wrote down in my little notebook here. I spent $125, so I'm going to write that down. And we had 176, so we still have money left. We have 10, 25, $31 left. So now that I'm doing this, I realized that I spent, or Drew spent $20 on getting some groceries. And I don't even remember what day it was. Let me look at the calendar. I actually think the 23rd on Monday that he needed $20. So I'm just going to say it was the 23rd. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what day it was. I just realized that. 20 extra dollars was gone out of there. So we're just gonna put down $20 and that will go right there. So now um, we actually spent 145. And instead of using whiteout, I'm just gonna kind of change that to a four. I hope that doesn't bother anyone, but it's kind of hard to write on whiteout with these markers. So I'm just gonna change that. So we have 20, $31 left, and I already wrote that down. I didn't think it added up, so I needed to double check, and then I realized that yes, we did spend $20. So next we have gas, and I'm going to flip to gas. We spent $29, so 29, and we have two, four, six, eight, a hundred and twenty two dollars left. So we have a hundred and twenty two and we might not need to fill our gas envelope with quite as much next week. So I'm going to reevaluate that um, after I see how long ago Drew filled up because um, we have a lot of money in there right now. So now for baby supplies, since we don't have an envelope, I'm just looking at my little notebook here. And we did spend um, $22. So I'm going to write that down. So we have $47 remaining. I might want to start taking some money from baby supplies and using that for our grocery bill because now that Bryn's not using formula and she's on um, almond milk, that is going to be getting a little bit more expensive on our grocery bill and less expensive for baby supplies because obviously we don't have to buy formula anymore, which is very expensive. So I might have to make an adjustment there. For my personal, I spent $20. So I'm going to write that down and then we still have money left. We have $55 left. And I'm gonna write 55. And then for entertainment, entertainment, we did not spend anything this time. And I just realized that we're going to be switching to my sinking funds. These are the rest of my expenses that we don't check in with. We only see those on stuffing days. So now, moving on to my sinking funds. First will be entertainment. And we didn't spend anything in entertainment, so I'm going to write down zero. And we still have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115 left. Whoops. We're a little out of line there. Okay, so 115 is left. And we're going to be going on a date this weekend, I'm hoping, so. We might have to take Bryn with us, but it will still be a date. <laughs> Gifts, we did not spend anything, so I can write zero. And I'm going to count out how much we have left. 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So 159 is what we have left. And even though that's a lot, I'm not going to lower this because we're going to be having a lot of birthdays coming up here soon. So that is good that we're saving up. And in clothing, we spent zero, but we also have zero remaining because we used all of our money. Um, medical, we don't check in with. And then self-care, I think we had zero. Let me just flip here in my little notebook. And yeah, we're in the negatives and self-care, so we didn't spend anything, but we also didn't have anything to spend. Now for house projects, we have zero again, and we did not spend anything. I'm kind of struggling right now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, because I really want to buy a new comforter for our bedroom, but we don't have any money in the house projects. So I might have to just take that out of checking because we desperately need a new comforter. And I don't really wanna wait like, I don't even know how long it would take us to save that much up. I don't really want to wait three months to get a comforter. So I will keep you guys updated if we do buy it. I'm not like going to be secretive about it, but we also don't have any money in there. So I don't know. I might wait, but I'm not sure. Maybe I can like use my birthday money towards it. But we do have the money in checkings that we could spend. It just would be kind of going against our budget. Okay, so toiletries, we spent $15, and we have 20, 5, 30, and $35 remaining. So that is perfect. And then Bryn's birthday is next. And, oh, we have, we don't actually have $5. So I'm gonna take that out. I spent $15 online. So I'm gonna write negative 15. I didn't even realize there was any money in here. So this is going to go back in my two bank folder. I have some money in here right now that I need to deposit from online purchases. So I'm gonna put this in here. And then we are only in the negative by 10 since we did have $5 in there. So only by 10. I know it's still negative, but at least it's only by 10. So that is my last category that we check in with. We also have our birthdays, Christmas, tag renewal, and car funds for our sinking funds. But we do not need to check in with those because we see those on stuffing days and that seems to be enough. I'm really thinking about doing another sinking funds video where I kind of go through and talk about my sinking funds. And I also want to set up some other sinking funds for other holidays that I don't have them for right now, like Valentine's Day, Easter, things that we're not going to spend a ton of money, but that when we do need that money, it will be in our little sinking fund envelope. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see. And I'm going to just check off the ones that we just recorded. They all just get a little check mark. And I'm so excited to start using my own little trackers next month. I just wanted to finish this month off with these since it will be all matching if I use these. But next month I will start using my own. So that is going to be all. That's our last weekly check-in for September. Our next weekly check-in, we will be in October. And for our stuffing video, we will be in October as well. So I'm excited about that. And make sure you guys check out my October setup video if you would like to see how I set up my October budget spread. Um, even though I kind of showed you a sneak preview here, you can see me setting it up and showing you guys how I do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by leaving a comment down below, giving this video a thumbs up, and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.